In construction, they use these hollow core panels to reduce the weight of the panels they install without sacrificing its strength and rigidity. These are useful in building floors and roofs in structures like multi-story buildings and parking garages. In today's Lord Gizmo video, we will take a look at how they manufacture these hollow core panels inside a factory. But before that, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. The process starts with preparing the raw materials. This area of the facility receives all the raw materials and processes them. In making hollow core panels, there needs to be high quality concrete mix where the addition of other properties are dependent on how strong, workable and faster setting they want the panels to be. High tensile steel strands are also needed for the pre-stressing of the concrete. This helps the concrete achieve such strength without exhibiting cracks. After that, they are fed into this chamber where they will be mixed and processed together. The mixture will be processed for some time until they reach the specific consistency needed. Once that is done, they will be prepared for the installation of mold cars. This is a crucial step in the production of hollow core panels because these movable platforms are what holds the molds so they can pour down the concrete and shape it. The first step in this phase is the preparation. The designated area for the mold car system should be leveled and clear of any obstructions. After that, they proceed with the positioning. In this part, they use designated rails or guides that will help them carefully position the mold car within the production line. Then, the molds are thoroughly cleaned to remove any debris and then coated with a release agent to facilitate easy removal of the cured panel. These guides will help them achieve a precise alignment. This also helps them have an extra layer of safety measures to prevent movement during installation. After they have carefully positioned and prepared the installation of mold cars, casting starts to take place. This is the process of pouring in the prepared concrete mix in the formwork. They need to eventually fill in all of these sections evenly to ensure a high quality product. They use different tools and machines during this step to ensure that everything goes well. But first, they need to assemble these rods inside the formwork or mold. Just like what happened before, these rods are first cleaned and coated with a liquid that will help the whole process be smoother. This will help in making the structure of the whole panel. While they are doing this, some of the workers are tasked to prepare the concrete mix so they can easily transfer it to the casting area. This is usually facilitated by the systems that they have in the facility, like these tubes and pathways. After that, they insert these yellow screen-like structures. These are called void formers, and they are intended to create the hollow cores within the concrete panel. They need to be lightweight in nature, flexible and easy to remove, which is why the facilities often use plastic versions of void formers. Now that everything is set, they will start pouring in the concrete mix to the panels. In this facility, they use pumps and tubes to deliver the concrete mix directly to the molds. They will do this carefully until all of the mold is filled. When doing this, it is not possible to completely avoid air pockets and unevenness. To deal with this, they either manually level the concrete mix or they vibrate and compact within the molds to eliminate air pockets and achieve uniform density and strength. 
the surface is also leveled to ensure consistent thickness. The exposed surface of the concrete may be brushed or troweled to achieve a desired finish. After that, they will start covering the mold. This whole step allows it to retain moisture and maintain ideal temperature for proper setting and curing. You might be thinking that's a hell of a lot of air in those. These ingenious panels are akin to the Swiss cheese of the building world, filled with hidden pockets of air nestled within their sturdy concrete exteriors. Now, you might be wondering, just how much air is in there? Well, hold on to your hard hats, because these panels can contain a significant volume of air, depending on their design and specifications. On average, hollow core concrete panels can harbor anywhere from 15% to 25% of their total volume in air. That's right, these panels are not just solid slabs. They're also stealthy air aficionados, adding a touch of buoyancy to their impressive structural prowess. Next, they still need to cure the mold and process it even more. The whole setup will be placed inside this chamber, like structure, for it to completely cure and set. Throughout this process, the workers will monitor the temperature and humidity around the curing panels so that the desired result will surely be reached. Since they are dealing with a huge structure, this step is completely done by machines and equipment. This is a more stable and secure way of doing things. Time will pass by and the concrete will continue to settle until it is finished. This machine helps the components of the mix to bind the ingredients together, which gives the panel the strength that it has. Although it is a slow process, it is needed to ensure that the panels produced are lightweight, but still strong. Once they are fully set, this chamber will release the mold. Then, they proceed with the next process. Now that the panels have reached the desired and required level of strength, they will be carefully removed and demolded from the molds. It is important to do this at the right time so that no cracking or damage will be done. Most of the time, this process is done by lifting the mold car and allowing the panel to rest on a designated support or conveyor system. Individual molds detach from the sides of the panel, leaving it resting on supports. Once demolded, the panel moves to the next stage of processing. These specialized vehicles move the panels to designated areas for further finishing, storage, or shipment. Depending on requirements, the panel may undergo surface grinding, edge profiling, or additional curing before final use. Ah, the strength of these concrete panels is a feat to behold. Picture this, a mighty fortress of concrete, fortified with the resilience of modern engineering. With their reinforced cores and solid exteriors, these panels can withstand tremendous pressures and forces, making them pillars of strength in the realm of construction. In fact, hollow core concrete panels boast impressive load-bearing capabilities, 
typically ranging from 500 to 1500 pounds per square foot. That's like having the weight of a small army resting upon each square foot of these formidable panels. So, whether you're constructing a towering skyscraper or a humble abode, rest assured that these concrete warriors have got your back, literally. We've journeyed through the crucible of creation, witnessing the transformation of raw materials into pillars of strength. From the precise dance of batching to the intricate ballet of casting, each step has played a vital role in bringing these hollow core panels to life. So, the next time you see a high-rise building piercing the sky or a sleek parking garage gracing the cityscape, remember the hidden heroes within. The hollow core panels, silent giants born from a symphony of ingenuity. For in their strength and versatility lies the very foundation of our progress, a testament to the transformative power of human creation. This has been Lord Gizmo, and we hope you learned a thing or two. Before you leave, please don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we have new uploads.